it has been. Even with Chinese New Year in the background, the market still had itself a very turbulent start uh, to the week with most global equity markets massively in the red there yesterday. The Dow dropped over 400 points at one point. Um, the UK 100 down almost 3% as well. It's pretty much a bloodbath in the markets. And a lot of that has come from um, big concerns now in the finance sector. Deutsche Bank itself down about 11% yesterday. Uh, big issues about its prime debt, making sure they've got enough money to service that debt until 2017. They came out with a statement with it yesterday. Deutsche Bank shares are actually down about 40% for the year so far. Uh, and major financials right across the globe took a big hit yesterday. And it had a horrible air of uh, the credit crunch in 2007 and around it, where you have big massive banks really getting called into question. Now Deutsche Bank uh, has had its issues before in the past, where it said everything is absolutely fine, i.e. during the credit crunch. And then a few weeks later, it was uh, needing to get a bailout. So there is big, big, big concerns at the moment uh, right across that sector. And that's leaking into almost all other uh, global financial markets out there. Gold, unsurprisingly, is shooting up higher. The Japanese yen is jumping. But our good old friend crude oil is sticking around about $29. So it's finally managing to stabilize even when we're in the cusp of this massive uh, amount of market volatility. So that gives you a bit of an idea as to the common themes. It's all about the banking sector right now. You should keep an eye on all the major um, blue chip bellwether banking stocks. You know, Deutsche Bank in Germany is an issue. You should have a look at some of the banks in Athens and in Italy as well. They're getting absolutely smashed. Um, and obviously there's a fear about that kind of contagion out there. It doesn't take much for that sentiment just to change and all of a sudden there's a massive bank run. So I would be very concerned uh, about a lot of the uh, kind of financial finance related stocks. And obviously yesterday we had in America um, Chesapeake Energy, the second biggest gas uh, producer in America uh, rumors of bankruptcy. And it's probably not going to be the only one with you know, prices the way that they are just now. Its share price was down 40% before it got suspended yet yesterday. So there's a lot of things just now that could possibly go wrong between the oil and gas sector and the finance sector. So do take that into consideration. Wild price swings, perhaps not unexpected, but for those brave traders out there, it's an opportunity to uh, potentially profit if you get on the right side of those moves. So that's the general fundamental themes. Let's talk about the technicals and we'll go straight into the US 30 as ever. So as you can see there, we're actually off the session those. This was a 400 point drop. 57% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. The other technicals are relatively neutral with the MACD histogram just getting lower. We've almost got a bearish crossover. To be honest, the US 30 is okay. The UK 100 looks horrible. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. So 90% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. Uh, what I want to do here, actually, I'm going to go into a weekly chart, uh, see if we can find some other levels on here, because uh, it's, it's because we've got such a strong commodity focus in the UK market. Uh, this is currently where, where we are. That's a much better uh, support level to have a look at. Because we've got so many commodities on our exchange, because we've got so many mining stocks and oil and gas stocks, we're particularly vulnerable to these big moves. So you can still see that we're fight firmly in this potential downtrend. You've got this downwards trend line. The next potential support is at 5,600. And if we miss that, um, then we could potentially be in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle, incidentally. But we're a little bit away from there just now. Potentially a tweezer bottom right here. We're off the session lows. 90% of CMC markets are currently long. Um, we do have a, a, cross, a negative crossover in the MACD. The other technicals are relatively neutral. So uh, 5,600 is the next potential support. 5,768 as potential resistance. Moving on to Japan 225. Again, I'm going to stick this on a weekly chart because we just got to find where those next potential levels are. And there's a good bit away, actually. Um, this market got really badly smashed in the underlying today. Uh, you would take this level. This is a potential support level. Uh, I'm going to take this, this point down here. You would maybe actually go as, I think I'm going to take this one as a more, as a more appropriate level and jump back on to the daily charts. It's pretty ugly. It's just really, really ugly. Um, we're on the wrong side of, uh, of, of potential support at 16,384. You can see there historically we have had breaks lower, but we've not closed uh, below this line, uh, which comes uh, all the way from, from back here. This does look like it could be a, a quite an interesting level to look at, but we're firmly on the wrong side of that at the moment, um, gapping a little bit lower this morning. Uh, we're off the session lows. 63% of CMC market clients are currently long. We've got a negative crossover on the MACD. If we do begin to see an acceleration to the downside, 14,671. And the Japanese finance minister is very concerned by the recent strength in the Japanese yen. They want the yen weak. So dollar yen should be a fantastic trade. 
the, the dollar should be increasing in value, the yen should be losing value, but no, not, not in this current environment. So uh, a lot of people probably feel the pain on dollar yen, which we'll have a look at right now. Uh, and when you kind of scroll out, you can just see the pain. We've actually been in a sideways moving market since December last year, not really doing a huge amount. This is a significant technical break. And the only problem is, from my perspective, as you are miles away from the next potential support level, which is um, arguably here. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look on the weekly charts. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, you maybe take this, you could, oh, you could maybe take that. I think we will take that. Uh, yeah, we're just miles away from, 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 from everything else. Yeah, it's, uh, it could be a bit of a tough market at the moment. So let's go back on to the daily charts for a second. It's, um, yeah, if you're long dollar yen right now, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to find those reasons, but the volatility is huge. You can just see how we've already been so much lower. We're done at 114 yen and it's pushed all the way back up again. The next potential support is gonna be at 1,100, uh, sorry, 111, spot 61, potential resistance 116. 66% of CMC Marcus clients are currently uh, long uh, and we, we are closer to the resistance than we are currently at the support. West Texas crude, as we discussed, uh, is kind of building a base around about $29. Actually, not much to talk about today. Obviously it was down yesterday, but small moves in comparison to what's done historically. CMC clients don't really know what to do at the moment. 52% are currently uh, short. It's almost 50-50. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Could be a kind of de a descending triangle formation, building a base around about here, um, but we'll just see what happens. Gold's been having a fantastic run. I've not seen a move like this in gold for so long. Uh, safe haven as aspect, everything's going right for gold right now. Safe haven and interest rate questions. Uh, interestingly, one spot, uh, 1,191 is potential resistance. Try to break up above it, close below it yesterday. Try to break it again today, it's currently trading below it. 60% of CMC market clients are currently along. 11. 91 looks to be a pretty important level for uh, anybody who's trading gold right now. Finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. Uh, Euro dollar, you can just see the tips of these candles. There is a reluctance by Euro dollar to break above around about 112.40. So that's that's a level to keep your eye on. Any potential retracement, one spot 11.05 uh, is a potential support level to be aware of. Moving on to GBP USD, 85% of CMC Mars clients are currently long perhaps wishful thinking in this regard. We do seem to be building support at the 21 period SMA. One spot, uh, 43.52 is potential short-term support. It's not really that exciting. But the fact is that you've got the support and you've got the SMA uh, could make it uh, a kind of a, a strategic level to be aware of. So if we have a quick look at the market calendar, let's talk about the economic data of which there is very little coming out. Uh, there's nothing much to talk about today. Uh, tomorrow, you've got some Chinese data, industrial production, uh, petroleum uh, inventories. That's going to be a big one. And then on Thursday, you've got unemployment claims. So there's actually not a huge amount of macro data releases. It's all just keep your eye on the finance st stocks, keep your eye on oil and gas in America, um, keep your eye on the DAX as ever, gold. There's so much happening in the markets right now. Uh, just make sure you're well informed and you are trading with uh, the simple stop losses in place as well. Well, guys, very good luck with your trading. Uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happens next. Thank you very much and goodbye.